call hello Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, because he's worthy for all praises. Double honor to the head apostles of Israel, which are the apostles at Great Millstone, for they taught me this truth. Okay? Peace, love, and salutations to the men that's pushing this gospel, this ministry of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai with all sincerity and with all truth that's staying in the spirit the men, women, and children that's staying in the Holy Spirit to the best of their ability day in and day out that's fighting a good fight of faith to the house of David which is the elect that Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver and raise up in these last days to be set as the righteous rulers of this world in the kingdom of heaven Okay, and uh, basically, I just wanted to get, you know, a quick exhortation, you know, for uh, the brothers and sisters out there also. Um, you know, I was just thinking, you know, about the scripture and, you know, how we we really, you know, the men who are diligently and wholeheartedly that are serving the Lord, you know, we really gave up, you know, everything that we that we wanted that we might have wanted in this world, you know, which wasn't, which in retrospectly is really not anything because it's, you know, it's all vanity, but like how Yahweh Shai said, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing, okay? And, um, you know, we, some days it hits us more than other days that, you know, we, uh, we uh, really gotta, you know, take the afflictions, take the sufferings, take the, the, the painfulness, of being in this world but not being of this world and endure it okay and we got to remember what the end goal is we got to remember what we're going we're going to receive the hope that we have because ultimately that's all we have we ha all we have is the hope of the kingdom of heaven okay we have the hope uh, of salvation that's why Yahweh Shai said blessed is the man who believed and has not seen okay because we we haven't we don't have any proof of of the kingdom of heaven okay we don't have any proof that you know if you take if you take this this road for 20 miles you're going to get to the kingdom of heaven you know we don't have anything tangible but we have the hope okay and with that hope like how Yahweh Shai said if you have the grain of a, uh, the faith of a grain of a mustard seed with that hope that's what drives us to to continue to fight where that's what drives us to do what we do okay and um you know Peter he asked the question to Yahweh Shai, which is was which was a sincere question. That's why and Yahweh Shai gave him the answer. And, and that answer that Yahweh Shai gave him was all that was needed for the men back then, which are the men now that follows Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's all we needed, and that's all and, and we believe the answer that Yahweh Shai gave us, okay? And you know, I just wanted to get this. You know, just to remind brothers, you know, out there, and, and like I said, the, the sisters that believe also that, you know, this is what we're going to get. This is what we're going to accomplish. This is what we're, we're going to have forever, okay? So this is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, to Yahweh Shai, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Okay, and that's a, a serious and sincere question because you know, back during the times with uh, uh, during the time of Yahweh Shai, you know, they were both, you know, they were both men, you know, they were they were possibly both. I don't, you know, it doesn't really say how old Peter was, but he had a family, he had a daughter, okay, so he was a grown man, all right, you know, he had an occupation, all right, he probably had family that he probably you know, seen frequently. Okay, he probably had hobbies that he did, just like with uh, every other uh, disciple back then, just like with brothers now. All right, but they believed on the Lord. They believed Yahweh Shai. They believed His word. They believed His promises. Okay, they believed that He was the Messiah that was going to bring the kingdom through, to bring bring Israel the kingdom that Yahweh had promised. Okay, they believed that this was the man. So they forsake. They forsake all. All right. They gave up everything that they once had, okay? And uh, you look up that word forsake, it's uh, uh, afami, af afami, which means to send away, okay? 
to send forth, to yield up, to expire, to let go, to let be, to, dis to disregard, okay? So, Peter is saying that we, we, we send everything that we used to have away, we forsake everything, we let go of everything, okay, and followed you, so what are we going to have, all right? And, and Yahweh Shai knew that this question, this question was still going to be a question that was uh, valid in these times and the answer was still going to be a valid answer into these times as as what is going to be needed for us to, to keep going to keep fighting okay Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them verily I say unto you that that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in his throne in the throne of his glory he shall also sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? So, Yahweh Shai, let, let it be known that because you followed me back then, okay, in your regeneration, in your reincarnation, in this, in this generation, okay, which we're living in now, which is the last generation, when he comes back, He's going to let these 12 men, okay, these 12 these 12 uh, disciples, which became the 12 uh, uh, apostles, all right, which were the 12 foundations, okay, of the city that's spoken about in Revelation, okay, that city, uh, uh, you know, it's talking literally about the, the name is going to be written, but that city is also can be referred to as, as, as Jerusalem, which is the people, because the 12 disciples, the 12 apostles were the foundation of this ministry, okay. It says that they're going to sit upon the 12 tribe, 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes, okay? And, and Yahweh Shai also had uh, uh, an answer for everybody else also, okay? Because it's not just the 12 apostles. It's going to be the whole elect, okay, which we hope to be, all right? He answered and said this in verse 29. And everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife, or children, or land, for my namesake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Now, the things that Yahweh Shai just named, we all can say that we, at one point in time, we had, we forsake that. We let the, we let those things go. We, we counted those things, but dung, as Paul said, for Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, we didn't. We disregarded those things for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So Yahweh Shai said, look, you you doing that is not for naught. You doing that, I'm going to give you hundredfold in the kingdom. All right. I'm going to give you that back plus a hundred times over. All right. And we have to believe that. And we have to and, and we have to understand that that's that right there is the end goal. That right there is what we are we want okay we're not some crazy cult people all right uh uh lunatics that are doing this for no reason we have a purpose all right we have the greatest aspirations in this world you know people talk about they want to you know travel or they want to have a, a nice house a good 401k you know those mini school things that they want in our eyes that's nothing man all right we are the biggest dreamers we are the biggest the biggest uh, optimistics okay in this world man all right our aspirations are out of this world okay we want a hundred times over the other things that we have now and he said and i will give you an everlasting life so not only are you going to get these things but you're going to have these things forever it's not, there's going to be no end to these things. You're going to perpetually have all these things that you forsook, okay? And it's going to be and it's going to be perfectly uh, uh, in its perfect state, okay? And that's why we do what we do, and that's why we got to remember, okay, what what the what the promise is, okay? What what the uh, the the goal is? What we really are doing this for, all right? We want salvation. We want the kingdom. We want to have. To receive all these things that Yahweh Shai said that we're going to have a hundredfold. Okay? So, you know, I just want to bring that out there and, and, and you know, just keep brothers to re, to re, uh, remember what this thing is about and remember why we're doing this. Okay? Because that time of reaping, okay, is, is about to come. That time of uh, uh, reaping the spiritual, uh, 
the spiritual gifts that we had sold, now we're about to get that. Okay, so you know, hopefully this is edifying. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.